oh man, look at that. We got the new Sony A6600. We're actually recording this with the A6400, but we wanted to show you this camera. We're very excited about this. We uh, spent a lot of time trying to make a decision whether we were gonna go with an actual camcorder or another DSLR style video camera that we can use for blogging and videos. I also considered the A7S III, the new one, uh, but when it all came down to it, we wanted to have video quality that matched what our existing cameras look like because we already have great quality videos and we just needed a second camera angle. So we picked up this A6600. So today we're gonna unbox this. We're gonna talk about it a little bit, what the difference, differences are between this and the A6400 or maybe some of the A6000 cameras that are a little bit lower end um, and then we'll get into it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll right into it. Say hello to my little friend. This is the new A6600 by Sony. We're gonna get into this today. We're gonna to talk a little bit about it, what the differences are. I'm Adrian Boisel, and you're watching the Adrian Graphics and Marketing channel. Make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button to get all of the updates on my videos. We're creating a lot of great content. If you're just joining us, you've missed about seven or eight months of amazing content. You'll wanna go back and watch some of our older videos. And if you've been with us during the whole time, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is my favorite part. This is like opening up a present. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right. So strap um, <laughs> to charger. This is the charger, the camera. All right. Wow, this thing already feels different. So the A6600, this thing is definitely bulkier than the A6400. And that's for a couple things and a couple reasons. And you can check it out here. See, it really looks very, very similar to what we already have and what you may have. Um, but the difference is, is it has a bigger battery, actually twice the battery life of the A6400. And that was a big deal for me, going out and about shooting on location on occasion when we do do that. Um, and then having it in studio, just being able to run uh, for a longer period of time was really great. This is also a 4K camera, just like the A6400. Um, and this thing, what it does have, and this is the, really the decision maker for me, was it actually has the IBIS, the in-body image stabilization. I don't really worry about that too much because like this camera that you're watching here with me, it's actually on a tripod and we have multiple tripods. Most of our stuffs are either gonna be on a tripod or on a gimbal. Um, so we don't really worry about that too much, but I wanted to be able to just have that. So if I'm gonna go out and do a vlog, go out for the weekend with my family and shoot something more personal for my family videos, um, I can use this and I'm not gonna have as much of that shakiness. And it's just basically the sensor helping you track and, and make up for the image shakiness uh, with your hand as you're carrying it and walking around with the camera. So it's just a little bit smoother. Um, I didn't get a lens because I already have a couple other lenses and I wanted to show you this. So this was really cool. In fact, we'll just mount it on here right now. So I'll take the cap off here. This actually didn't come on the little kit that I bought, but I bought this Kiwi Photos um, little adapter that goes for these lenses. So you can actually use multiple lenses. This is for specifically for Nikon lenses. And so you can look at this thing. You can actually attach this. I have a 35 millimeter, really cool old school lens that I got from my friend Bryson. And you can just attach this here. It's, there we go. And then you just lock that in and I can use my 35 millimeter. There we go, lock it in, boom. Now I can shoot 4K video with a 35 millimeter lens. This actually doesn't have autofocus and you can actually adjust the aperture and everything down to 2.8. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that here on the top. You can adjust it down to 2.8, which is really, really cool. Just a really neat camera overall. Uh, another just addition to our family. So you'll watch our videos as we continue to do this. We're gonna start doing multiple camera angles. This video, unfortunately, is one angle. Um, and I would like to show a side-by-side -side of just video quality. I think that the sensors may be slightly different in this camera, so the image quality may be a little bit better, but they both have the AI. They both have that tracking. They're both really just great cameras overall. We wanna really just add as much value to you guys and make our production level as great as we possibly can. We're gonna start diving into other videos like Facebook versus Google and some just really great content in the coming weeks. And then we have a course coming out too in the near future. So excited to share that with you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and for helping me be able to make this happen. I couldn't have done this without you guys. So thank you guys so much. I love you all and make sure you subscribe. And as always, keep looking up.